Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Children's Church again on this uh, Sunday morning. Let's stand up. We're going to sing some songs. We have a new song to us. It's not new to Grant. He knows it, so he's going to help us out with the motions. But it's the B-I-B-L-E, but with a little bit of a different twist. So stand up, get ready to do the motions, and follow along. You can't be a fruit of the spirit because the fruit 
teacher, um, Miss Becky. Have a good day. Whenever you're ready, we can cut it. Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to our house. This is Stryker, and he is going to help us with our lesson today. We are going to talk about racing. So we're going to see if Stryker can run his little race that we've set up for him. Ready, Kenny? On your mark, get set, go! Go, Kenny, no, the other way. Kenny, yeah, the finish is that oh, way. It's, you... As we just saw with Stryker's inability to run his race, the uh, start and finish of a race are probably the two most important parts within a race. And so we need to finish talking about the life of Jesus on earth. Um, you guys covered the past couple weeks, Jesus, uh, his death on the cross and then his resurrection. And then last week, um, Mr. Barker talked about Jesus meeting some of the disciples. Um, so we're going to finish his story on earth and we will be picking up in Acts 1, um, verses 1 through 8. I will summarize a little bit, but it basically says that after Jesus' death and resurrection, he spent some time with his followers on earth. For 40 days, Jesus showed his followers that he was alive. He appeared to them many times and continued to teach them about the kingdom of God. Jesus told them to stay in Jerusalem until God fulfilled his promise. Jesus said, you will be given power when the Holy Spirit comes. You will be witnesses for me in Jerusalem and in Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Um, what is it that Jesus is asking us to do until he returns? This is our time to finish our race strong. And Jesus has a couple things he needs us to do until he returns to earth. So what should we be doing until Jesus' return? In Acts 1.8, he's telling us that we should be witnesses. We should spread the good news and tell others about him. We should um, share the gospel and tell people about God and that he paid the penalty, that he sent Jesus to pay the penalty for our sins, that Jesus died on the cross for us, and that he rose again the third day, overcoming sin and death. And if we believe in him and pray to him and tell him that, that we will have eternal life. And that's what he wants us to do, is to share this news with other people. Um, where are we supposed to be witnesses? In the verse, it talks about going to Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Well, that was the disciples' hometown. That was the disciples' kind of like their community, their town, their state. And then he's saying to the ends of the earth, we're supposed to go everywhere and tell as many people as we can about Jesus. Um, there are some people who are missionaries that go to other countries and tell those people about Jesus, but there are other people that stay around here and act as missionaries. Um, some of you that go to Awana will know our Awana missionaries, the Brumfields. So they're acting as missionaries. They're telling others about Jesus in this area, in the area of Illinois and Iowa. Um, you can act kind of like a missionary and tell your friends and family that may not know about Jesus about him. And that would be sharing in your community. Or if your family lives out of state, it would be sharing in your country. So you don't have to go all over. But if you do go all over, that's where Jesus wants his, his word to spread everywhere. So, the text truth for today is that we should faithfully serve God while we wait for Jesus' return. Um, only God knows when Jesus is coming back to earth. No one else does. We don't ever quite know when the finish of our race is going to be. So, we need to keep on running in the right direction until we find the very end and not stop and not give up and continue to faithfully serve God. Um, so now we're going to look at Luke 24 verses 50 to 53. This sort of concludes Jesus's time on earth. 
One day, Jesus led his followers to Bethany. Jesus lifted up his hands and blessed the people. While he was blessing them, he ascended to heaven. That means that he went up into the air to heaven. Jesus' followers worshipped him before they returned to Jerusalem. The people were full of joy. They continued to go visit the temple and praise God. So after the 40 days uh, after his resurrection, Jesus saw many people, many of his followers, and then he led them to the edge of the, or to Bethany, to this area in a town called Bethany. And when he was um, blessing them, he was raised to heaven. And Jesus is in heaven now, and he is preparing places for his followers, his believers, those that um, trust him as his savior, so that when the time comes and um, he is ready to come back to earth and we go to heaven with him, we will have a place. So right now he's up in heaven, very, very busy getting things ready for us, but only God knows when he is coming back to call all of his followers with him. So what did his followers do after he went to heaven? So he went to heaven and then it said that they returned to Jerusalem and they were full of joy and they continued to go visit the temple and praise God. So his followers continued to praise him even after he had left the earth. And I'm sure it was a little bit hard at first. Jesus was their friend and they missed him. Just like many of you are missing your friends. You're missing your church friends. You're missing your school friends because we can't be around other people right now to help keep everybody safe and healthy. And so just like you're missing your friends, they were missing Jesus. But at the same time, they continued to praise God. They continued to say, you know, thank you. Thank you for sending us. Thank you for the time we got to spend with him. And they continued to sing God's praises because they knew that God was in control of everything. And this was part of his plan just as this time that we are separated from our friends is part of his plan. This is not a shock to him. He knows what's going on and good will come out of this. So we have our verse for this week, which is Matthew 24, 42. It says, therefore, stay awake for you do not know on what day your Lord is coming. So this is just a reminder to us that we don't know when Jesus is coming back, but he is coming back. That's a promise that God gave us in his word. And so by saying stay awake, it's not saying it, God doesn't assume you're sleeping this whole time, but it's saying to continue towards the finish, to keep working on what he's asked us to do, which is to faithfully serve him, um, serve him by telling others, serve him by helping others. Serve him by praising him, praying to him, reading the Bible. There are many different ways that you can serve God. So to review what we just went over, only God knows when Jesus will return. We should finish strong by praising and faithfully serving God. And I will give you a few ideas on ways that you can serve God.